Hey everyone, it's your coach Enoch Muamba here and welcome to Jumpstart's Play From Home Active Together After School program. I'm going to be joined by my friend Amanda Rumry. Hey Amanda, we have some really fun and great activities planned from our friends at Holland Bloorview. Every Monday and Wednesday after school, tune in and take part in the fun. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a husband to an amazing wife and father to two beautiful girls. I have one older brother and one younger brother. I have been playing football professionally for the last decade in the CFL and in the NFL. Currently, I'm the CFL's most outstanding Canadian. Who's ready to have some fun? Rhea, Alex, Carson, Bella, and Petey are gonna take us through their game. Listen for the word. Have fun, everyone and see you back here soon. Hi everyone, and thanks so much for joining us today. We're here at Holland Bloorview Kids Rehabilitation Hospital in Toronto, Ontario. At Holland Bloorview, we believe that participation is for everybody, and we support kids and their families to participate in the activities that mean the most to them. This eight episode series was designed for kids to have fun, try some new things, and hopefully learn a little bit about keeping their minds and their bodies active along the way. Me and my friends at Holland Bloorview are going to share some of our most favorite activities and we hope you'll play along at home. My name's Kristen and I'm a therapeutic recreation specialist here at Holland Bloorview. I'm also going to lead us through some of the activities today. Meet my friends. Hi, my name is Rhea. Hi, I'm Petey and this is my sister Bella and this is Bella's service dog Cadence. Hi, my name is Carson. Hi, my name is Alex. Want to hear a joke? Why did the gymnast play Mario Kart? To show that she could do a cartwheel. <laughs> let's get started, folks. Before we get started, let's go over the basics to make sure that everybody's staying safe and having fun. Number one, space. Make sure that you've got enough room to move around. You don't need a very big space, just enough to move your body. Two, equipment. We're gonna give you a list of stuff you need that you can get ready before the session. You can also pause the video at any time and gather what you need and join us when you're ready. Three, anything goes. There's no one way or right way to do any of these activities. Do what feels right for you. Number four, breaks. Make sure you take a break whenever you need to. Remember, you can always pause the video and come back and join us when you're ready. Breaks are a good time to give your body what it needs, like taking a rest or having some water. Remember, it's important to stay hydrated whenever we're doing exercise. Our first game is called Listen for the Word. There's no setup required for this activity, you just need enough space to move around safely. We're gonna start the game by moving our bodies any way that feels right for us. Let's give that a try. Okay. We are gonna move our bodies through this whole game. And you're gonna listen for a secret word. The first secret word is going to be frog. Whenever you hear that secret word, you're gonna do an action. This can be any action that you think of when you think of frog. Like this one. That's awesome, Alex. Rhea, let's see what your frog, frog action looks like. Oh, amazing. Okay. The exact same thing. Let's get moving all together. Everybody move your body anyway. Remember, that secret word is going to be frog. I'm about to start reading the story. I went down to the pond to see if I could find a frog to catch. I looked up and down and round and round until I saw a big frog sitting on a rock. That great big frog looked like that rock was made just for him. I tried to be sneaky and get closer and get a better look. Just then, the frog blinked his eyes and jumped up to the sky and splash, the frog was gone. Awesome job, guys. Good listening. Okay, are we ready to try that again with a new secret word? Yes, we are. Amazing. Onward. 
Let's try that game again, but with a new story. Remember, to start the game, we need to move on the spot. Let's move what we can. All right. The secret word for this story is going to be tail. Whenever you hear that word, you're going to do your very best tail action. Alex, can we see your tail? I love it. Thank you. Ria, can we see your tail? Awesome. Okay, so let's move on the spot and listen for that secret word. This story is about Tyler the tiger and his mischievous tail. You see, the thing about Tyler's tail is that it really had a mind of its own. Tyler's tiger tail would get him into all kinds of trouble. When Tyler went for a walk, his tail would wildly wander into puddles, under bushes, and even under his own feet. One time, Tyler's tail was waving so wildly that it tangled under each of his feet, causing him to tumble and land on top of that tail. Tyler's tail was so mischievous that it even tangled with another tiger's tail. I guess you could say that of all the tiger tails, Tyler's tiger tail was the biggest troublemaker of all. But hey, without that crazy tail, we would have never had this crazy tale to tell. Great job, everyone. <laughs> that was funny in the end. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're going to try our next game. This game is called Marbles. There's a little bit of a setup for this one, and the only equipment you need is a few balls of any size, or you can also use rolled up socks, or even rolled up pieces of paper. The other thing you'll need is either two pylons, or you can just use two pieces of paper, or anything you have around the house that you can use to place on the floor. Our setup is going to be just like Rhea has it here, where we've got a goal post on either side and one of our big marbles in the middle. That's going to be our target for the game. The object of this game is to use your other balls or marbles to throw and try to bump that marble as many times as you can until it crosses the line and you win. Are we ready to try it, Rhea? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh. Okay, let's go, Rhea. Yay! You did it. Great job, Ria. Remember everybody, keep playing along at home and do it as many times as you need to. You can also change up the activity by trying different sizes of balls. You can use more than one ball as your target. All right, keep going everybody at home. Remember, you can always change up the activity as you go. Try again, Ria. Oh, great job. Nice roll. This game's all about practice. 
and keep going till you bump it across the line. Well done, Rhea, thank you. We're gonna try another way to play marbles where you can use more targets than one. Alex is gonna use three targets for his game and try to get as many to bump across the line as he can. He also has his own do-it-yourself marble launcher that he made out of a paper roll. It's like a telescope too. Nice, can we see you do it, Alex? That's one, you wanna try again? Boom. Play along at home. Awesome. Oh man. Try again. Boom. Excellent, keep Mic going drop. everybody at Boom. home. Let's see if we can get all of our marbles bumped across the line. Does that count? Hit the goal post, let's try again. You don't have to do wow. exactly as bad as I do. Awesome job, everybody at home. Okay, now we're gonna show you how you can play marbles if you have more than one person playing at home. I'm gonna play with my friend Carson here, and we are gonna play a competitive version of marbles. You can see we set up a little bit different than last time. This time we have a target zone, so we've used two lines with our target marbles right down the middle. Now the object of our game is gonna be trying to bump those target marbles out of the zone and onto our opponent's side. We'll keep playing until all of our balls are gone and then we'll see who got more marbles across the line. If you're still playing at home on your own, it's all good. What you're gonna do is see if you can set up a target zone and take more throws to try to bump your marbles across the line. You play by yourself. Ready, Carson? Okay. One, two, three, let's go. Ah! <laughs> Head start, I saw that. Oh, I think we're tied. Keep going. Oh! Oh! There's only two left. Can we do it before? <gasps> ah! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's always hardest getting the last one. Oh, I bumped. Ah, I'm almost out. This is my last one. Okay. Oh, I missed. Okay, let's see. How many did you get on my side, Carson? One, two. How many are on your side? Two. Two, we tied. Air high five. One, two, three. All right, great job everybody at home. 
All right, friends, we're going to switch it up one more time and we're going to play some marbles as a team. I've got my friends Bella and Petey here and we're all going to work toward a challenge together. So play along at home. For this setup, you need to have as many marbles as you can on your target line and hopefully still have some marbles in your hands to throw along. When I say go, we are all going to go and see if we can knock every marble in that lineup across the line. We'll go till all of our marbles are gone. Are we ready? One, two, three, let's go. Nice job. Bella's helping me out on my side. Thank you, Bella. <gasps> Oh, almost. Keep going, everybody. Roll, roll, roll. Roll, roll, roll. I'm going to have to collect my socks. If you run out of marbles, grab your marbles and bring them back to your spot. We're almost there. Looks like we've got one more each. Let's do it together, everybody. Oh. We did it! Yay, everyone! Woo! Okay, everybody, our next activity is called House Hunt. You don't need any equipment for this game, but you do need some space to move around, so make sure there's nothing that's in your way. I'm going to be giving you a list of items you need to find in the room that you're in, or even another room, and bring it back to where you started. Go as quick as you can, bring it back, and hold it up so we can show each other. Are we ready? Okay. First one, find something red. Okay, let's see what we found. I found a red pen. Carson, what did you find? I found a red Sharpie. Excellent job. Bella and Petey, what did you find? A red ball. Well done. We all found our red items. Let's put those down because I'm going to give us our next challenge. Find something that's a square or rectangle. Excellent job, everybody. Let's hold up what we found. I found a rectangular piece of Lego. Bella and Petey, what did you find? A sticky note. A sticky note. And Carson, what did you I find? I found a square bean bag. A square bean bag. Excellent job. Everybody found the item. Let's put that one down. We're going to go on our next hunt. Let's find something you could play with. Okay, everybody, making our way back, let's hold that item up high. I found a wiggly, wiggly purple frog. Carson, what did you find? I found a rainbow slinky. 
Amazing. Belle and Petey, what did you find? A tennis racket. Well done. We all found something we can play with. Item down. Next hunt. Let's see if we can find something shiny. Okay, everybody, we're back. I found a shiny purple balloon. Bella and Petey, what did you find? Tape. Nice. And Carson, what did you find? A red bow. That's a very shiny red bow. Well done, my friends. Okay, final challenge. See if you can find something with words on it. Okay, if we found our item, let's hold it up to the sky. I found a puzzle, a Spider-Man puzzle with lots of words on it. Carson, what did you find, my friend? I found a book. A book, that's a great find. What did you guys find? An Uno card. An Uno card. We found all of our things. Let's put our items down and give ourselves a big round of applause. Good job, everybody. Okay, friends, we're gonna try house hunt one more time, but this time it's the speed round. Are you up for the challenge? I'm gonna give you a new list of items, but this time you only have 10 seconds to find it and bring it back to where you started. Are we ready? Let's go. Round one, find something blue. Awesome job, everybody. Take your time if you're still looking for your item and remember to bring it back to where you started. Round two, find something soft. Excellent job, everybody. I hope you're able to find something soft. Okay, round three, see if you can find something round. I found something that has a round part in it. Awesome job, Alex. Okay, everybody at home, I hope you're having fun with the scavenger hunt. Let's try a couple more. Let's try number four is going to be find something that puts a smile on your face. This is probably something that looks different for everybody. Let's see what puts a smile on your face. And our final scavenger hunt item See if you can find something smaller than your hand. Great job. We hope you're able to find all your items at home. If you didn't, that's okay. You can always play again later or pause the video if you need more time. Thanks for playing, everyone. Bye! Bye. That was our last activity for today. We hope you all had fun. Hey, did you know that having fun is actually good for our health? It's true. Recreation activities help us keep a balance between pressure from things like schoolwork and keeping our bodies and minds healthy and well. Thanks so much for playing along today. We hope you enjoyed it and hope you'll play with us in our upcoming sessions. Bye everybody. Wow, what a great first day everyone. We hope you had fun. In our next session on Wednesday, we're gonna be learning about activities that you can do to keep you moving at home. It's gonna be great. See you then.